hello friends welcome to my channel code blocks in this video i want to discuss uh, another miscellaneous problem uh, in, in that came in the tcs and qt okay uh, the 555 uh, 5055 dec uh, decoder or you can say that 555 decoder so basically here you are given with a list of numbers and you have to decode it using 555 decoder algorithm okay so input in this is the list of number size and this is the numbers okay and here, this is the output your task is to step one in step one you have to perform um, one thing and that each of digit uh, each digit of each number present in the list should be subtracted from five your first task is to that means you are they are telling that uh, each digit that means each digit of each number uh, should be subtracted from 5 okay if the subtraction result is negative then we have to pick the absolute value okay so now one well, first number 179 and each digit is subtracted from 5 and you have to pick the uh, that means you have to pick the uh, absolute value okay so 1 minus 5 means minus 4 but you have to pick it as a 4 absolute value and 7 minus 5 is 2 and 9 minus 5 is 4 so the number becomes 424 okay so you have to pick the absolute value absolute value means that means that if any number is a negative number and then its absolute value is positive number okay now uh, take 281 okay 281 you have to each digit is subtracted from 5 uh, from 5 okay so 2 minus 5 that means minus 3 yeah, you have to pick 3 as 3 8 minus 5 is 3 and 1 minus 5 that means minus 4 but you have to pick it as a 4 so 3 3 4 okay this is the next step one in step two you have to perform sum of digit operation with each number until we get a single digit of every number okay <coughs> now we have to perform sum of digit okay so 424 sum of digit is 10 now uh, we are getting that uh, this number is uh, two, two digit, digit number okay but uh, we have to we, we want single digit number so we have to perform again sum of digit operation that means one plus zero is equal to one okay so we getting one here okay now comes to three three four so sum of digit means ten okay and again one plus zero is equal to one okay again we are getting one in this way we are getting these numbers okay and the final steps in step 3 we have to add uh, these numbers to get the result desired result that means 1 plus 1 plus 8 plus 1 plus 1 that means 12 12 is the output okay so here uh, you have again uh, you have to perform three different tasks first of all you have to subtract each digit of each number from five and if the substance is negative then we have to pick the absolute value okay and we have to find uh, these numbers okay uh, uh, and now in step two we have to find, perform sum of digit of person anti of each number until we get single digit okay this one okay and last of all we have to add the numbers to get the desired result Now comes to coding section okay so first of all uh, we have to take a we have to create a variable and that return that holds the final value and we have to return that value okay so we are taking integer total and it's less with zero okay now uh, uh, so here you can see that using scanner we are taking in the list size and the create a list that holds the, all the variables okay and that know that hold all the numbers and uh, so now we have to traverse the list okay integer i is equal to zero i less than n i plus plus now we have to um, store um, all the numbers one by one inside any variable okay integer number is equal to list dot get of i okay now now we have to uh, find uh, each digit after subtraction that means we have to find the uh, uh, subtraction value okay after digit uh, sorry we have to find the uh, digit after subtraction okay so first of all integer digit one that means the uh, zeroth position digit okay 
uh, to get it we, we, and uh, if the subtraction of the uh, if the uh, subtraction of the result is uh, um, negative then that's why we have to use a math dot abs method that return the absolute value okay if it is negative and then we we have to uh, we have to find the last digit okay that means uh, obviously we have to find the last digit initially and after the number module 10 give you the last digit and after that we have to subtract it from 5 okay now we have to find the digit 2 that means the second digit from last okay and we have to use math.abs to get uh, its absolute value if it is um, negative okay and now to uh, number divided by 10 to get the um, and module 10 obviously after that we have to use module 10 to get the second digit okay from last second digit and, and we have to subtract it from 5 and again we have to um, take the digit 3 and then map.abs Uh, and then we have to find its uh, the um, last digit from end okay number divided by 100 okay minus 5 to get the third from first uh, from end okay third digit from the end now we have to form the number okay number is equal to 100 into digit 3 plus 10 into digit 1 digit 2 sorry and plus d1 okay so now now we have to uh, we are getting the numbers after subtraction of each digit from 5 now we have to find the sum of digit of person in step 2 okay so integer uh, sum is equal to get sum of number okay now we have to um, declare we have to declare and explain uh, the method get sum okay. static integer to return the integer value that means the sum and um, get sum integer number and take integer sum is equal to zero and take a while loop while number greater than zero and now in uh, inside it integer reminder is equal to number modulo 10 then sum is equal to sum plus reminder and now number is equal to number divided by 10 and now we have to return sum okay now now we have to check that if the uh, sum value that means the uh, sum of digit operation uh, after performing operation the sum value if it is greater than that means if it is two digit uh, or one digit we get we have to um, get it we have to make it one digit okay if it is two digit that means it greater than nine if it is greater than nine then we have to perform another sum of digit operation okay so we have to check if uh, sum is equal to greater than nine or not okay if it is greater than 9 then in that case we have to perform another sum of digit operation get sum of sum and store it inside the sum variable and we have to add it to the total total value that means it returns the 12 the desired output okay and if it is not greater than else then we just add it to the total total is equal to total plus sum and after that we have to return this total value now we have to check output okay so take the input of 5 as the length and then 179 now the second number is 281 third number is 379 okay and the um, fourth number is 421 18 and last one is 610 okay so you are getting that 12 as the desired result 